today I want to show you how to do a swordfish, like a really cool swordfish that's sort of swirling. All you're going to need is chalk pastels. Ta -da -da. They're my favourite. So chalk pastels, they look a bit like this the cover, but you can get any chalk pastels as long as they're quite nice. And they tend to be like tiny little ones, but they're really good. And you need paper that's going to be landscape, not portrait. And you're going to have a pencil. So get a rubber and a pencil just because you're going to need two things. So an eraser, pencil, paper. Let's go. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is just put your pencil round about there on your paper. And you're going to basically go all the way round. So think about great big, it reminds me of a banana, like a start of a banana perhaps. And then we want to just go up, so a little line up, here, so go along to about there. So use your eye to help you, like you don't need to measure it or anything and just go whoop. Then we're going to create the really cool kind of, um, I can't think what they're called, <laughs> the, the, um, the kind of the, the oh, the fins, the fins of the swordfish. So the swordfish has got a very long nose, that's why it's called a swordfish, but we're going to go U-shape, 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 and join that up. And then what I want to do is just do some lines, because it kind of looks quite cool with lines. And then you can just create the rest of the seahorse, I'm Lisa. <laughs> now, if you can, on this line, just put your pencil about there. Can you see about there? And you're going to do this. So think about the shape. It's not just like a rainbow. It's out and down. And then we're going to do the sword. So his nose. So we're going to go down, 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 down. Come back. And it gets bigger, 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 bigger. If you can't do that, just think big pointy long carrot. And then just about here, we're going to do a line straight and then around. So we've nearly drawn the whole thing really, because then we've got to just touch that bit there. And you're going to go, oh, can you see me curving? I'm curving it slowly. So that's pretty much the shape, which is awesome. Love swordfishes swordfish and then you're going to go ah, and then ah. they've got really long tails so join it up and then just do some lines there now we want to create this but there so you're going to go out you 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 if you can't do a you from the side just do out out and then make it frilly so just try your best. We want to do some eyes. So I'm going to do a cartoon eye. Just because they look kind of funky. So an eye like that's kind of cool. I'm going to put another eye that side. So just two little eyes. He looks really happy as well, which I like. Now I want to put the, what do you call it? I can't think of anything today of the words. I want to put the uh, scales on. <clears throat> so what I do is I don't have to do the whole of him scaly. You just make it, it's like, it's called insinuate. So you just make it look like the whole of his body is covered just by doing a few. You don't have to do the whole thing. You can if you like though. And then I thought I might just do, should we do him splashing out of the water? Hmm, I might do that. So we're just going to do, I don't think he would splash out of the water, but we could just pretend. I'm going round because I'm doing, you know, that pool of water kind of effect where he's jumped out of the water and there's splashes everywhere. There you go. And the water, we could have a water edge kind of there. You don't have to though. There we are, we could do a water's edge, we don't need to. This could just be like, you could put loads of plants or whatever. But I quite like just leaving it like that, I think. 
sometimes it's nice not to do a background now any color you like like i think yellow are, oh no look at this if you get these pastels you get like these fluorescent colors so i might do it i'm gonna do all of them you could literally do different colors oh you could do a rainbow body that would look really really good it could be like a rainbow swordfish So these could be completely different colours, but I'm just doing it all one colour, just so you can see the effect. So I'm going to add some other things in a minute. So that's really simple, isn't it? Now to outline it, I'm going to take a red. Oh, I don't know, I like the idea of an orange. Yeah. Might do an orange. So to outline it means it stands out and it looks really cool. I like the idea of a bluey green swordfish as well. So you could have, oh, that was a bit wobbly, wasn't it? Oh, I've made it really wobbly. So you could have, you could start off red and go purple, then blue, and it could be like a really beautiful kind of tonal fish. Okay, so I've done it super, super simple with just two colours, but like I said, you can do multi-colours, any colours you like. I'm just drawing over with one finger. Okay, that is my swordfish, but I like the idea that you could sort of make it different colours. So you could start off with a red there, and then this could go into an orange. And then you could have a yellow. Can you see? It's kind of a nice effect if you sort of do it like that. And you could do the same with the tail. You could have like purple, blue, green. It just looks really nice when you start sort of putting different colours in. Like this is yellow. Quite like doing yellow there. Yeah, it just gives it more body. So it makes it more alive. It looks more real, even though it's a cartoon, you know what I mean? It looks like it's more, there's more there. Okay, I'm going to stop with that, and what I'm going to do is my water. I'm going to do the water. I like the idea of doing a purpley water, because I always do blue. I probably would rub that line out. I just actually don't like that line there for me. I think I'm going to rub it out, because I don't really like it. I might rub it out later. But yeah, I'm going to smudge over the water line, those little circly bits that I did smudge you might want to do the background could you do the background first eh, maybe but i think just be careful when you smudge it because the orange can go and call it okay so now you can't really see much color in mine i don't want too much color in the water because it takes away from the color of the fish There we go. My little swordfish looping. I don't think they do leap out the water, but let's pretend they do because it's like a cartoony one. So it's fine. And do you know what? I'm going to get rid of that line. Because I don't personally like it. It's funny when you draw something and then you think, no. So feel free to get rid of your line if you've drawn one. Yours might look really cool, your line. I just don't like it for some reason. I think it's good to know what you like and what you don't. And it's okay to rub out. I rub out loads. It's just all part of it really, isn't it? There we go. Right, 
So yeah, you could carry on the water so it goes up or whatever, but it's okay. I quite like it as it is, to be honest. I'm gonna get another blue and just put some lines of dark blue. There we go. There we go. There's my swordfish. So let me know how you get on. Like, subscribe and share. And what you could do, just forgotten, go over the eyes in black maybe because that will really stand out really cool. Okay, have fun doing your swordfish and let me know how you get on and maybe just colour all the background blue would be kind of cool or not even having that is fine. But yeah, enjoy and I will see you soon. Lots of love. Music